When you're fishing those grass flats, depth control is really important. You need to fish a bait that you can control the depth because you want to keep that bait up out of the grass, but really, really close to it. What's a good one to do that with? Good morning guys and girls, March 2nd, Mark 10, 49, Mark 10, 49. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. An effective way to fish grass is to find a grass flat and just simply blind cast over it. In other words, you end up grass flat, simply throw all around the boat, just throw all around the boat. Depending on how deep the grass is, lipless crankbaits and spinnerbaits work really, really great. Keep scanning with your live scope and watch for high spots in the grass or low spots in the grass, as well as keep your eye out for fish that are moving in and out of the grass. It's exciting how this great technique, this great technology allows us to see the unseeable. We can see fish actually swim in and out of that grass. Early in the morning, late in the evening, you really see that a lot. You really see that a lot. You see those bass and, and crappie swimming in and out. You see the bluegill swimming out. It's just amazing. It's amazing when you get into major and minor feeding periods, how the grass fish start moving out of the grass. And a lot of those fish you can't see, you're just looking at grass, but then all of a sudden you see them swimming in and out, swimming in and out. You can watch your bait as you fish over the top of that grass too. So that's where your depth control is real critical. You can watch your bait and keep it down right at a level where it'll stay right over the top of that grass. In today's scripture, blind Bartimaeus, blind Bartimaeus got excited when he heard that Jesus would be coming down the road. He heard that Jesus, he couldn't see him, he's blind, but he heard that Jesus was coming on the road. He kept crying out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on me. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine what he thought when the disciples, Jesus' disciples said to him, rise, he is calling you. Rise, Bartimaeus, he is calling you. Bartimaeus, though blind, knew Jesus was walking down the road to him and he received his eyesight. He received his sight. He was blind, but now he could see. One bright day, one bright, beautiful day, those of us who are saved, those of us who are born again believers in Jesus Christ will hear God himself say, rise, rise, he is calling you. Rise, he is calling you. Oh my, what a glorious day that will be. What an incredible day that will be. And you know, if you're really serving God, you're hoping that when God sticks his hand out to you, that he says, well done, good and faithful servant. Well done, good and faithful servant. Oh. Here's our tip for today, and it's a good one. Here's our tip for today. We've been talking about fishing over the grass and being able to see your bait in the grass, being able to see fish in the grass. Not all of you have that great technology on your boat. It's expensive technology. And it, you know, I think as time goes by, the price will come down and it'll probably become standard equipment on a boat. I remember when we were paying $1,000 to $1,200 for uh, a power pole on a boat and people said, holy cow, $1,200 for a shallow water anchor? That'll never, that'll never work. That'll never, and yet it's pretty much standard equipment on, on a bass boat nowadays. I think that life scope technology will be standard equipment on boats too as time goes by. Here's our tip about fishing that grass and depth control. The Mimic Impersonator, that's right, the Lucky Strike Mimic Impersonator works well over the grass and other, and it off because it offers you perfect depth control. One of the reasons that you have perfect depth control with that impersonator is that it's a sinking bait. It's like a lipless crankbait. You know, a lipless crankbait, if you throw it out there and just let it fall, it's going to fall all the way to the bottom. A mimic impersonator does the exact same thing. Now it's got that wide wobble where a lipless crankbait's got that real narrow wobble. So that gives you two extreme differences in that type of bait. But you can throw that bait out there and you can, you can let it go down three foot, four foot, five foot, ten foot, however deep you want to fish it. It allows you that depth control. 
It's easy, very easy to see on a live scope. So you can throw that bait out there and watch that bait come back in. You can get it down right over the top of that grass where it's just right there close to the grass, not too far away from it, not getting down in the grass and getting grass all over your hooks. Works really, really, really well. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.